now I'm heading home to Austria and I have to say thank you very much. This was a wonderful idea to come back to Brussels now after so many years since 2016, the last time here. I really miss it and it was also a wonderful idea to participate in this conference and uh, to meet all my old friends and to campaign here for European unity. It was really wonderful timing and it's also the counter-strike idea to strike uh, the into the heart of the evil empire to promote the defeat and breakup of Russia. This is really the right answer to the Russian aggression. We need on the one hand more transatlantic unity, more openness to the world in terms of trade agreement and global outreach and opening of the and enlargement of OECD and of the WTO and the defeat of the Russian counter uh, system of CSTO and of uh, BRICS. This must all be defeated and OPEC. This is all Russian serving institutions and we must uh, defeat these organizations, compete with them, but we must obviously also carry uh, the war and the uh, counter-strike narrative into the evil empire itself and promote freedom in the Russian empire, in the soon ex-Russian empire. That's what I did and obviously the answer to the Russian war must be European unity, faster enlargement, more unity in Schengen, evil Austria, regret and reject and withdraw your veto and that is all really very necessary and that's the logic, you know, the opening to the West, the destruction of the Russian-backed uh, global system and the enlargement of our system with uh, WTO, OECD, OECD and um, the EU free trade agreements and the unity in NATO, EU and Schengen, the Eurozone inside Europe and of course uh, the defeat of Russia and the massive encouragement of the independence movements. It was just the beginning now, it was I think the third conference but here in Brussels that was really very effective and strong event with the Prime Minister of uh, Chechenia a very nice gentleman and I'm honored now to meet him and I really liked it, it was very good and all the other movements from Free Kuban, very good to Free Kalmykia, to Free, oh, what was it, uh, um, Cherkessia and all the other new states in development and obviously Russia will be dismantled and this is, I think, very clear. And I have also made it very possible with a clear economic reform agenda, the regional integration systems reform agenda of Southeastern Europe as a role model, but also as an existing framework. What Dr. Busek has created can easily be enlarged. The Regional Cooperation Council and SEFTA and the energy community, the transport community, all these things which we used to smoothen the negative effect of the breakup of Yugoslavia with the currency backs and with the NATO integration agenda can be easily used for the ex-Russian republics in the future. And so this mechanism is very important and they all will be of course again in Council of Europe in the OSD. And we will also have to apologize for the failed policy of Mr. Schallenberg and all the Austrian appeasers. They are compromised by Russia. They have taken all so much money from Russia that now, of course, they are compromised <laughs> and under compromat. This is the fact. Yeah, Russia will be dismantled in 30 uh, something pieces. And now, of course, it will be often bloody and complicated, but it's simply the tragic reality. If a country commits such a horrible sin like this war, there can be no peace anymore with them and we cannot allow a country like Russia east of us to exist and to attack us again. And as clear as it is that Russia, also Ukraine needs to be in NATO in order to be safe, it's also very logical that we cannot allow a country like Russia east of us to exist. It must be dismantled. Of course, the Russians will live in many new countries. There will be also revanchism in some. There will be this call for all Russians live in the same country. 
again by some. Yes, we know this all from Serbia. And you have seen the recent process in the Serbian parliament. You know, it will be complicated. I'm sorry, I have no easier message ahead. You know, some want some magic, easy way out. That unfortunately doesn't exist. The future is complicated, but it is bright as well because this defeat of Russia yeah, after their unprovoked war of aggression in 2022 will usher in a new 30 years of prosperity, a generation which will be seeing an equal, enormous technological and prosperity progress like the last 30 years have seen. And that is amazing. It will be probably another two, three billion people living on this planet for the 10, 11 to reach by 2015. And we will have a 400 trillion economy and we will all live in much more security and peace. And the institutions will work even much better because we have opened the WTO, the OECD, the NATO, the EU, and they all serve their purposes because there is a reason why they exist and what they are doing. And this is absolutely good. And here I'm at the Carrefour de l'Europe in the capital of EU and NATO walking to the gas central and just saying thank you for this wonderful, wonderful conference and this amazing time I had in the last days here and it was very, very good. Let's see. Let's see, let's discuss what we can do. I will give an interview about the defeat of Russia and the breakup. And that will be also very good in the coming days. And I will just find the gas central and head back home. I had a lot of time also for podcasting. That was good because I wanted to show you that city. I love. I made uh, some very long and good videos about Brussels, the European quarter, the NATO headquarter. I cannot show you all, but the Saint Contenaire, Saint Contenaire. Yes, I showed you that one, and I showed you as well the city center. So that was my plan to cover much, but by far not all. Of course, the city has much to offer. It's a very nice place. And I'm very happy about it, my 2023 return. <laughs> yeah, and maybe I find other invitations or reasons to come back. Unfortunately, COVID and the war and also some feelings of complacency and pension talks have somehow shattered my networks in Brussels. But they are far from God. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. <laughs> And they are still there and working. Of course, in a city of establishment, my, in a way, revolutionary agenda. <laughs> but in my second reincarnation as a student representative in the mid 50s, maybe I should study again something. But I study Europe my whole life. <laughs> and I will now continue this student struggle of mine and carry the struggle for freedom into the heart of the evil empire. I will do that safely from the sidelines, but I will do that on my YouTube and my Twitter feed. Ah, Brussels has developed very well. This is also much nicer than in the past. This is the central station, which should carry me fine. This talk and walk I have made already. And yeah, it's very good. Yeah, I will do my best. But that was kind of intensive travel the last days. Look here, the beauty of Brussels. The last moments I show you. 
and now I'm heading off to Vienna and I will keep you posted on Vienna and by the way a EU Klima ticket would be a cool thing to have so I don't need to buy tickets everywhere <laughs> Mrs. Gebersler okay respect your fin to Kiev that's a courageous thing here I remember very well yeah, I have some emotional flashbacks at these places for this really very beautiful years I spent here. Yes, very good. I have to buy a ticket now and I will check that online here. Good, friends, for a youth climate ticket and more to come from Pax Arubiana here from the Brussels Central Station. Bye.